trending. Whenever you go to a garment shop, try to observe the labels on them. Or else, you 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 may have many clothes in your house. Or you when you buy a garment, observe the labels on them. Look at the percentage of different fibers. So you observe that they are mixed. You observe they are mixed with cotton and wool, and polyester is mixed with nylon and wool. Why 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 is, why do they mix these fibers? And what is this process called? Let's know them now. As a fiber, may, a synthetic fiber may, may be mixed with two or more other fibers. This is called blending. A synthetic fiber is mixed with two or more other fibers. This is called blending. Normally, synthetic fibers and natural fibers are blended to get better fabric. They are blended to get better fabric. A blend does, that not, does not simply mean alternating the threads of fibers. It means that combining two fibers to get a quality fiber and, and better best qualities of both. So for example, if you take if, if you take two clothes, when you when then you when you combine two fibers, the qual the best qualities of first fiber and is combined with the qualities of second fiber, then the resultant fiber will possess the co best qualities of both fibers. So this will help the will to reduce the limitations of fibers. Now let's take an example to understand this. Example cotton and polyester. Normally cotton and polyester are blended. Cotton forms wrinkles, but it is comfortable. Whereas polyester does not form wrinkles, that is wrinkle free. When we mix this both in a proper ratio, then the resultant fiber will be comfortable and wrinkle free. In the same way, cotton in the same way cotton shrinks when washed, whereas polyester does not. So when these two are mixed in a proper ratio, to a large extent, the resultant fiber will not shrink as compared to the as compared to the pure cotton. So in a blending, there is one rule that is you need to mix more of natural fiber and more of natural fiber as compared to synthetic fiber because natural fiber it, it, it is free from irritating chemicals it will be it is free from irritating chemicals and it will be comfortable for us so for example we need to mix 70 percent of natural fiber and 30 percent of synthetic fiber to make a cloth then it will be comfortable it absorbs absorbs water and everything but if at all we mix 30% of synthetic fiber and 70% of natural fiber then it will be uncomfortable, uncomfortable for us and it, it will be also very disgusting and un uncomfortable for us and we feel very bad we don't like to wear that so we need to mix 70% of natural fiber and 30% of synthetic fiber as natural fiber is very comfortable for us and we feel like to wear this so there are few more examples for blending Trend is mixed with cotton to make Terricot in the same way it is mixed with wool to make terry wool. So this is all about the blending and their examples and what will happen if we do blending. That is we get a better fabric. So this is all my topic. Thank you.